Thank you. Good A word. Now, let me see. Is it sorry? Because if it's not, I'll give you two words back. Good news. George has extended the lease on the joinery. What? Well, he must be mad. And they tend to be these millionaire property dealers. So you've got some time on your hands. Why don't you book another holiday? Why don't you shut your face? Thank you, Trevor. Well, you could pull your expertise. Here there's a market in high visibility vests. Yeah, the folk who do proper jobs. The day I take career advice off you, Nick, darling, say they can chuck me in the air, will you? Oh, well, you're the boss. Seriously, why don't you let me hit him? We operate a strict policy on aggression. Carla? Oh, Sorry, mate. Carla, what are you letting him get to you for? He's a div. Cos he's right, isn't he? He's holding all the cards. I'm finished over here. Truth be told, I shouldn't have come back from L.A. What are you talking about? That was ages ago. You've done loads of great stuff since then. You met me for a start. Hello, can I have the number for... <sighs> Sorry, I shouldn't walk and talk. It's not in me. Oh. No, I'm done. How was the holiday? Mm, like a distant memory now, but brilliant. Yeah, you look like you could do one yourself. Oh, well, like Roy offered, but... Ailey, no one ever won any medals for soldiering on, you know. I'm fine. Aw, uh, on the nights you get an hour's sleep. I'll tell you what, it was a smell with me. Mm. I went to fill my car up the other day. I had to go out with an empty tank. Kept thinking the place was going to blow. Mm. And do you wonder what, what Tony were thinking in them last few minutes when he knew? Mm, I did. Then I stopped myself. Hey, look, you nearly took your life. Don't let him take your sanity and all. So, Trevor's been good. Mm, a rock. Oh, I'm so glad you've got someone. Mm. Since I'm now jobless and factorless. Mm. No, about that. All spare in love and war, Ailey. You've got bills to pay. No, but we didn't know. You've got to believe us. The staff aren't happy. Yeah, well, they'll be flaming raging when they realise I've raided the cake tin, won't they? Oh, here. Oh, no, 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 don't be daft. No, that, that one be Mr Tulsa's and this one's Mr Stokes's. Um, what you've never had, you can't miss. Business. What kept you? See, the margins are good even with the payments for international rights. Uh, I'd need to see more detailed figures. Oh, it's all there. And it's not just a case of waiting four years till the next World Cup comes around, because, you know, people wear these things all... year all... round, yeah, I know. And what's up? <sighs> You've caught me offside here. Well, I've got no premises. Well, no premises and no staff. To be honest, I only came here... Well, out of courtesy, really, if you hadn't rang and caught me on the hop. I... Oh. Look, work has already started on the Underworld rebuild, and so long as I've got my lingerie orders, well, I can easily find temporary premises just like Nate did. And temporary staff? <laughs> they are my staff you saw grafting there this morning. All I have to do is say the word. And once my lingerie line's back up and running again, well, we can start finessing designs on the replica shirts. You don't doubt for a minute I can pull this off, do you? Oh, I don't doubt you. I doubt the economy. Plus, I've as good as promised this order to Nick. Oh, well, I could always break the news to him if that's all you're worried about. It's still risky. The only way I could make this work is if you undercut his bottom line. If you can bring it in at under that, the contract's yours. Where do I sign? 
Ah. <laughs> oh, three guesses. Flaming groundhog day. Mm-hmm. Mm. Come on up, Nick. I'll move those. No. Claire from McGlatt. No. Okay, now before you start. Who's told me what you did? Oh, you know what? You live by the sword, you die by the sword. And to be honest, we've lost count of how many times you come up here mouthing off like the big I am. I warned you. What are you doing this corrupt? You're making promises you can't keep. Oh, not my style. Look, even if you don't get your fingers burnt, there's other people who will. No, just one. You. And remember, you kicked all this off in the first place. You've got no premises. No nothing. You haven't even got any staff. Oh, I've got staff all right. I just let you mine them for a while. Machines work for me now. Well, there's money on the table, sure. But they've got underworld running through them like a Blackpool sticker rock. All I have to do is click my fingers. You're playing fast and loose with people's lives. Oh, I'm a bit bored of this conversation now. Me too. There's racing on in a minute. When I was lying in the hospital bed having flashbacks about guns and bullets, all you could talk about was overlocking machines. My welfare, you didn't give that about. <laughs> it's not true. So now I don't give that for you. I said I'd finish you when I have. <laughs> you know one to blame but yourself. Mm -hmm.